everybody. So today I'm going to load up my trailer for the first time on my brand new trailer. Or I'll load up my tractor for the first time on my brand new trailer. And I'm going to take it out tomorrow and bush hog my property. So uh, I've just, I was starting to get things set up. So I have my wheels chocked, the front of the truck are chocked, and the trailer tire is chocked. So let me show you what I've done here. So I've got chocks on both sides of the front wheels, not the back. And I've got a chalk on the uh, driver's side trailer tire. So now I'm going to go get my tractor. Well, I have to put the ramps out. i got to get one more out on the other side and then uh, set them up. I don't know yet how far they need to be, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Let's go fire up the tractor. See how this works. Come in just a little bit. deck is uh, popping a little bit. Makes me nervous. Back, back in the truck seat to down some. It's probably where I want it right here, I guess. Leave it in gear. Got the parking brake set. Loaders down. Lower the uh, push hog. Looks like it's completely on the trailer, so I think I'm okay here as far as position. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off.
see how this works out. I know it's just a half ton truck, but it's all I got. It's going to have to work. You see it squat, which hopefully it means I have enough tongue weight on there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got plenty of tongue weight on. All right. All right, so I'm going to be using this uh, 5 16 grade 70 chain. And I'm going to, I've got a clevis in the back here. I'm going to tie it off to it, get it snug on the back end. Oops. And then I'll tighten the front end and ratchet it all down. So I'll go here. I think I need to go here. First problem is I didn't extend these all the way out, so now I've got those extended. So I apologize, but the uh, microphone died, so I'll just have to do it this way. Um, I got the back right corner tied down um, fine, finally, and so now I'm working on the uh, back left corner. Uh, so I had a little problem getting the ratchet binders to tighten the chain without twisting the chain all up at first I didn't have the the chain binders extended all the way out so the, it, it wouldn't turn and every time it did turn it would just twist the chain up so finally I was able to get the chain to tighten up the way it was supposed to so on the front end there really isn't any good spots to tie the chain around to uh, to strap it down with so I bought these um, I guess nylon tie down straps and I used those to wrap around the axles so I, I just crossed those over and hooked the chain on to uh, these straps and that way the chain doesn't tear up the axles scratch them up or anything like that not sure what happened to make my microphone dial like it did but uh, it comes back later on in the video so hang tight this is my first time using these ratchet binders and I had a heck of a time trying to uh, get the chain to tighten without the uh, chain wanting to wrap wrap up and twist up around the, the ratchet binder so eventually I got it figured out to where you know I, I knew I had to get them extended far enough so they would tighten before the chain got too close to the binder and wanted to twist around it so it took a while to figure that out but I finally finally got it figured out once I got each corner tied down then I went around to all the other corners and just uh, strap them down a little tighter, you know, to pull them all tight and get them good and snug. And this is where my mic starts so working all again. Four corners tied down with the ratchet binders. And I got the loader strapped down with tie straps. The bush hog strapped down with tie strap. And the uh, back corners are tied too. So I just need to uh, tighten up the slack. I need to get some zip ties and uh, wrap the slack up and tie it off. I don't have any zip ties handy right now, so I'm going to have to go find some. But before I leave in the morning, I'll be sure those are zip tied and the slack is taken out. So, we'll see how it goes. And I've got some zip ties on all the corners. So hopefully, we're all safe. And so tomorrow we will see.